Venezuelans are also flocking to the U.S. in droves. Despite the worsening relationship, immigration is up more than 130 percent. And with the current tensions, that exodus is going to intensify. Andrea Rennes reports from Washington, D.C. Thousands of kilometers from the streets of Caracas, this food truck gives Venezuelans in Washington, D.C. a taste of home. Nearly 260,000 Venezuelans are legal residents in the U.S., according to the latest census. And that number is rapidly increasing. The oil-rich nation now struggles to provide even the most basic food and household supplies to its citizens. And while people there can't buy the flour needed to make arepas, typically eaten by Venezuelans every day, this couple is now serving them from their food truck here in the U.S. capital. They say they're hearing more and more from newly arrived compatriots looking for work. We get a lot of emails from people, you know, I just moved here. Um, do you have any availability of openings um, on the truck or even at the kitchen? Um, you know, there's, there's a million different stories. People come here for so many different reasons. Obviously, the situation right now is a little complicated, so that's one of the bigger ones. Previous waves of Venezuelan immigrants date back to when Hugo Chavez took power in 1999. They were generally from the upper class and came with wealth. Now, immigration officials say the vast majority are middle class with limited finances. The man who helped liberate Venezuela is respected well enough here in Washington, D.C. to have his own statue. But almost 200 years after the death of Simón Bolívar, relations between the U.S. and Venezuela are at an all-time low. This week, the White House declared Venezuela's alleged human rights violations constitute a national security threat to the U.S., and imposed sanctions against seven high-ranking officials. I wouldn't be surprised if the, in the upcoming weeks more individuals from the Venezuelan government are included in the sanctions list. And this is going to provide uh, Maduro with an excuse to heat up the rhetoric against the United States. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, in the upcoming months we will see a definite uh, breaking up of the relations between Venezuela and the United States. For the owners of this truck, they just know how important food can be to help the new wave of immigrants feel connected to home. Definitely, Venezuelans have the arepa as part of their roots. It's a food that comes from many years ago, and feeling this little piece of Venezuela here in Washington, D.C., is something very special. Andrea Arenas, CCTV, Washington.